One of the really unique things about this franchise that I thought is so great is all of the characters surrounding our core characters, as the films progress, they progress. We always see new elements to them that we didn't see in previous films. As you guys are sitting down and looking at how Breaking Dawn split into two and the progression of your characters, where did you want to see your individual characters go? I was just always hoping that at some point we'd have the chance to explore different aspects of our characters. I think it's been really challenging knowing that, you know, we know who they are, but yet you might only have five seconds to actually relay whatever you're, you know, get, get, get it across because there isn't a lot of screen time for us and I think that's been challenging at times. So I think just getting somewhere with them was yeah, <laughs> what I wanted to do. I think getting to have a journey with the character was exciting for us too. I mean, I, I started out as a, a very different Esme than the Esme I, I ended up as, which right. I, I thought was really interesting to, to go on that journey with her and watch her be forced to fight and stand up for her family and, and all these things that she had never really considered before. She'd had a, a simpler life life before this human came into our world. And we watched this film last night and the audience just loved it. it. It's such a different film than all of the others. It felt like a lot of the story is wrapped up in the last one in a whole new chapter and it was just so unique and so different. Audience loved it. Why do you think the audiences are responding to this film so enthusiastically? I mean, you know, Bill, you haven't... S I haven't seen the seen film, but I was there. <laughs> so you know so what it's about. So I kind of know, yeah. <laughs> I know what's going on. I mean, I think it just, you know, this, it, it t the saga really comes to a, a huge climax in this mm. in this movie. And I think it's also just so romantic. Yeah. And, um, but it's very funny. And I don't know, for me, watching the movie, it was incredibly moving at the end to, to see how... Bill Condon, how he was managed to tie it all together, all five of these movies, mm. and it felt, it made it feel as important watching it as it felt, you know, making it. And I feel like the fans love any opportunity to, to introduce a new character. Mm. They're, they're really excited about it. So in this case, not only do we have, you know, all of our friends uh, around the across the globe that come together for uh, to stand up for us but also Bella this is a whole new Bella so I think they'll be really excited about that tra transformation now watching these the end credits so creative it kind of felt like watching a marathon runner crossing the finish line exhausted but happy but relieved but overjoyed at the same time what are your feelings like now crossing the finish line of this incredibly successful franchise kind of all those things <laughs> yeah. yeah I don't I mean, know, man, it, I mean it's been so exciting and um, I think just to get to where we got I mean the fact that we got to make all of these movies and finish what we started and it was uh, I mean I don't think we really even have the perspective yet I think in a few years we could probably answer that question better <laughs> well listen congratulations on the film it is in my opinion the best of the franchise and we can't wait to have it on AMC screens